Now that we're finishing the umpteenth year at Future Doc, where we've been helping people get into medical and dental school, I have picked up a thing or two in my time. And this year has taught me a lot about the medical school application because there have been a lot of changes and trends that I've seen, particularly this year, that I'm going to talk about in this video that are going to help you when you apply in 2024, adapt to so that you can be on the cutting edge, on the bleeding edge of the application to really stand out from the rest and submit a very high standard application that's going to give you a great chance of getting into medical or dental school. So one thing that I'm seeing a lot this year is the evolving admissions criteria. This is kind of the basic stuff that you need to make sure you have to be eligible to be selected by the universities. So things like, you know, the UCAT scores are increasing and the thresholds are going up. Sometimes the grades as well are going up in certain universities and the requirements for those. But especially things about how they're selecting work experience and the, the richness of experience that students have makes a massive difference. These are always changing. So the way that I would recommend that you stay on top of this is on the Future Doc website, we have a free resources page where you can get the application guide and it gives you a profile of every uni for dentistry and medicine. And you can work out exactly what you need to do to be and to meet the mark really to be at the standard needed to give yourself a very good chance of getting in. But there's no doubt that the standards are getting higher than ever. I kind of always joke to my students that if I was applying today, or if, at least if I submitted the application that I did when I got into medical school, I don't think I'd make it. Obviously, I would probably adapt and, and kind of reach the standards that are required today. But it just goes to show that the standard and the requirements are ever increasing as it's getting more competitive. The second thing I'm noticing is the importance of work experience. Now, there are a few things within that that I'm seeing. A lot of people more than ever are saying how difficult it is to get work experience for them. Now, this isn't a problem that I seem to see on the Future Doc program. I guess it's the way that maybe we guide people, but um, I am getting a, a lot more messages of people saying that they're really finding it difficult. But equally, the importance of work experience is going up as well. It really does form the backbone of your application. And as you'll have heard me say many times throughout these videos, and Really, when you come to the end of the application, i.e. your interviews and you're in front of an MMI station or a panel, that is where the experience and the prep that goes into it beforehand really shines through. So this is where you can really separate yourself, demonstrate that you understand the dental career, the medical career, and kind of set yourself apart in that way by having that wealth of experience. Now, in reaction to that, I've just recorded a work experience series, which I'm gonna be releasing over the course of the next few weeks. I've created the playlist already here with a couple of videos, but I'll be adding more and more as time goes on. But also I'll be doing a dentistry one, which I'll link to the playlist here. It's probably currently empty, but have a look and I'll keep adding videos as we go. Now, the other trend I've observed in 2023 is the importance of support. I would say that basically everybody is getting some sort of help today and whether they know a doctor or have a good teacher, but really the quality of the advice that you get is so, so important. And now as it's getting more and more competitive, it's just so important to be in a safe pair of hands. On the Future Doc program, we genuinely see people every year come to us who have been to other companies and have had a terrible experience, either companies that just want to take their money and just kind of give them some basic stuff or not really caring for them, for them holistically and taking them through the entire program, which is the most important thing. You need somebody who is looking kind of a 30,000 foot view of how your application is going in all the key areas, not just writing a good personal statement or not just doing UCAT stuff. It's so important to get a holistic view of the application to make sure that the whole thing is rounded, well balanced, and just gonna give you that chance of getting the highest kind of score if they're not scored, but if you were to give it a score, you know, we try to aim for a hundred out of a hundred so that you can give yourself the best chance of getting in in an ever more competitive era. So a very brief plug for the Future Doc one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which you can check out here. It is based on application, so you do have to apply to us. And generally, we have such confidence in the program that we know that we can take within reason almost anyone and put them through our process, put them through our gauntlet, and they will come out and be very, very likely to get a place. Last year, we had a 93% success rate. However, so really the application is more about your attitude and whether you're the kind of person that we want to work with. So don't be afraid to submit an application. As long as you go through that process, you, you may very well be eligible to come and have us help you with your medical or dental school application. The other trend that I'm seeing is more and more people underestimating certain parts of the application. This comes from everything for the prep to the UCAT to work experience to interviews. 
I see people who really don't give it its due attention. The prep is probably the most important thing. Like we talked about with work experience earlier, that is one part of it, but there is so much that goes into it. And you know, if you are submitting your application in this coming September, you really need to get your skates on because I always say, you know, if you're applying in September, you should have been preparing from the September before. And that time that you put in is so valuable because it's not just about ticking boxes. It's about using that time to transform yourself into the kind of person that will make a great doctor and dentist. And that is why that time we have on the Future Doc program with people is so important and so crucial to kind of loading the bases for good fortune, but also good performances to happen so that they can really smash the application when it comes to submission time. And the UCAT as well, as you probably saw me talk about in this myths and misconceptions video, it's so overvalued but underestimated at the same time which sounds like a paradox but i explain there why it's so important not to get to fall into that trap then also university selection one of the reasons that we have success at future doc is that we're so meticulous and fine tooth combed with all of our university selections those four places that you choose are so so important and it's not just i have this where should i go it's this person as an individual with these strengths these weaknesses all these things that matter, those are the things that we need to look at on an individual level to ascertain which four universities that person should go to and or apply to at least. And that is how we make sure that we have success with that application. And finally, as you've heard me say millions of times, interviews are so underestimated by people. Interviews are the culmination of everything that you've done before. They are not just simply doing a bit of cramming for a couple of weeks before, learning a couple of things, and then making sure that you tick those boxes to get through. It is about becoming that kind of person. And like I say, this is not just the prep that you do immediately. So the most likely way to succeed with that is by taking that time to really become rather than try and just do. So what are my predictions for 2024 and how the application is going to change? Well, I think there's a few things that are going to happen. Firstly, I think, of course, the BMAT has now been scrapped. I believe that most universities will now convert to the UCAT, which will make it even more important than before. However, it will also mean that the thresholds will go up. So scores need to be higher. People need to be better prepared and perform better in the exam to increase their chances or to even meet the threshold to get into university. The second thing I think is that personal statements are a bit up in the air as to what's going to happen. I think that there's been enough of a stink kicked up about the personal statement recommended changes that they will probably just stick to personal statements as they are at the moment. And I think maybe they will probably introduce some more exams like the Casper, which I'm seeing more and more medical schools requesting of their students. At the moment, it's just a pilot. Usually when things are piloted, it tends to be rolled out. It's very rare that they get rescinded. But like I say, these are just predictions. The final prediction I would make is that the use of help and the importance of getting people to help you with the application is going to be more significant than ever. As I, the final prediction I suppose is that it's gonna be more competitive as the trend has been for the last several years now. And the quality of help that you get will really impact your chances of success. So again, if you'd like some help, you can check that out here. But otherwise, I wish you the best of luck. Keep working hard with your application. You just have to keep going and honestly just believe that you can do it because all it is, is playing a game that the med school application, you just have to make sure that you play the game in the right way and you can do it. And I've seen it time and time again with people who have had five failed attempts. They've come to us and we've kind of made them understand it in that way. And then suddenly they've got that, they've got in and got offers for several universities at the first time of being with us. So you really have to just play that game the best that you can. So keep going and best of luck in 2024 and I hope that you smash your application and get the medical school or dental school place of your dreams. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your application.